Hey there, if you're here, it's because you have a Mazda 3, maybe a 2014, 15, 16, 17, 18, whatever the year range is, mine's a 2016, and your heater control knob won't go all the way over cool, and you have to pull the glove box off, if you know about this fix, to screw around with this stupid thing um, to get your heat back or to get your AC back. So I'm going to fix this thing once and for all. There are a couple of... Um, videos on YouTube, like a Bodge fix that has a bungee cord. And I was going to do that, but it, this, this was $19 total for the whole kit. So there's the part number you need to order has everything in it that you're going to need. It's genuine Mazda parts. I only need this thing, the spring and those two little washers. The other two parts are connected to it, but they don't need to be replaced. They all are functioning as they're supposed to. This thing here, those little tabs there, I think are worn out. So this just keeps popping out of its little socket. That's what prevents the thing from working the way it's supposed to. So it's looking to me without even looking at it yet, like the tools are going to be needed. I got a little uh, uh, a pick to pull this thing off, the one that's on the car. Um, that doesn't need any tools to go on. It's just a little axle. So that's going to go on. Well, actually, this spring is going to go on over the little axle. Then that washer then the spring-loaded um, holding clip. I've already got the spring loaded into this thing, so it'll be under tension when I try to put it back in that little socket. Then the cable, control cable from the knob, is going to attach to that little guy, and you can see there's a little tab that that's got to snap over. So uh, it might be a little tricky to get the uh, cable off of there without having a small screwdriver or that pick to pull it over that tab. So I'm going to go ahead and do this, and then I'll uh, give you any insight um, to the job when I'm done with it. Okay, so as we can see, that's the offending culprit. So when I turn the knob, you can see that the that little thing, see how it's supposed to be grabbing that? It's not. So this part here is the one that needs replacing. So my plan is to uh, pull that little, see that little spring washer? I gotta pull that off with the pick and then get the washer off behind it. That should free up the spring. Then that thing pops out of its little spot. I got to take that cable off and then replace it. So that is the plan. <laughs> We're going to see how that works out. It doesn't look too complicated, but you never know. Be back. All right, job completed. There's the old bad one. This is the one that, uh, see that part right there was all worn out and would not hold it inside. Now, when you go to take it off, what's a little tricky, and I just gave up and killed it, the knob that the cable attaches to has a tab on it. The area that you're working in is so tight that it's that, see where the cable's attached? That thing has a tab on it. That holds it on when you're, you know, it's in good shape, but when you want to take it off, it's really difficult to get both adult male size hands in there. If you had a kid that was really mechanical, you might be able to do it. I just took a pair of, uh, you know, wire cutters and cut that tab off and slid the cable right off. But um, the other trick was getting the spring on the back. So uh, right back there. So I learned real quickly that you put the you put the part on first, load it into the little slot, and then do the spring afterwards with the, the two washers, the nylon washer and the lock washer. Um, and what are, I found a really effective way to get that nylon lock washer on was once I got them placed, just use the end of a quarter inch open end uh, wrench to push that little to push that little lock washer back onto that axle uh, because doing it with your fingers is incredibly difficult. But it works perfectly now. Uh, everything's good. I'll have heat and AC, and I don't have to pull my glove box apart anymore. So any questions, ask, and I'll be happy to, to post. Thanks. Bye.